And so it looks like it's gonna be one of these kind of adventures today on a Saturday. Very rainy, cold, 39 degrees. It's a good day for an indoor adventure. And this building that we are looking at is the building that we will do an indoor adventure in. <laughs> it's the Museum of Russian Art. And we have been here recently. We saw a room of sculptures by a guy who was borderline brilliant and insane at the same time. <laughs> we'll just say that. But it was an interesting experience and at that time the rest of the building was completely empty because they were bringing in new exhibits. And so today we're going to find out what those other exhibits are. Well hello there and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure here at the Museum of Russian Art in Minneapolis and the theme of the day is the body as depicted by Russian artists. And this should be fun to check out. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. <laughs> I like how it echoes in here. <laughs> so if you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. And come on with me guys, let's go see what there is to see. There's where we came in. There's a guided tour going on over there, so we're not gonna bother them, but there are two floors, it looks like, of all sorts of paintings, of Russian art, of people doing all types of things. This should be a pretty interesting little adventure today. This artist is Mikhail Kugach. There's no date on the painting, but it's oil on canvas, and it depicts a work scene in a textile factory. And I just like the detail on the expressions on their faces. Look how determined she looks to get the job done and how focused she is on what she's doing. And I like how all the colors in this painting contrast with the hard kind of drab work that they do for a living. This is really well done. Here's one by Nikolai Danilin from 1951 and it is called old folks and this one it's like a Russian version of American Gothic look at that no smile just straight faced if one of those two was holding a pitchfork <laughs> it would be almost the same thing and both of these are by the same artist Alexander Slaschev from 1956 this one is called the swimmer and it looks like she is ready to go. She's got her swimming cap on. She's got the water behind her standing on the beach there. And this one is called the football player. <laughs> Look at the intensity in his eyes, ready for the game. Or in America, we would probably call this one the soccer player, but we're not gonna get into that debate today. Here's one by Mikhail Samkov from 1958. It's also an oil painting. It's called Cross Country Skier. And something about this one just reminds me of the Olympics from when I was a kid. That was in the 70s, not the 50s, but it still just reminds me of that. It's like I'm gonna watch this event and then the Harlem Globetrotters will be on right after. This piece is called The Guy from Urals. It's from 1959, also an oil painting as most of these are. And he is being shown as a working class hero. He's a metal worker, and you can see him just looking on to the hot flames in front of him. And look at his huge hands, determined look on his face to get through the day. There was a high value placed on good workers in that society in those days. To me though, <laughs> and this is just me, <laughs> he's like the Buzz Lightyear of the factory. And here is a painting called Autumn of the Ancestors. On this cloudy fall day, it appears that this couple has come to the realization that they are at the twilight of their lives. 
and they're staring ahead. He seems very tired. But what this reminds me of is a painting that my grandparents had outside of their dining room. And a lot of parents and grandparents have it in their homes as well. It's called Grace because there's a man who looks a lot like this saying a prayer before his meal. It's a very touching painting and that's what this kind of reminds me of as if she was lost and he is there by himself praying before his meal and I don't know why I've put those two together but I don't know there's just something about this one leave a comment if you if you agree so we've been checking out this area down in here that's where our video started and then we have now moved up to the top to the deluxe gallery in the sky where we have a lot of things to look at up here as well here's one by Igor Popov from 1964 and if you're an American you would probably call it Big Paisa but I think that spelling actually means Big Russia and look at this it's like a town painting and there's not a whole lot going on on this particular day <laughs> got a few people hanging out on the porch over here these people have their laundry out to dry there's a, somebody over here other than that not much happening if this were an American painting this road right here would be a good place for a good old-fashioned draw <laughs> but doesn't look like that's gonna happen today not in big Russia and this one is by Vladimir Nekrasov from 1951 and it is called actress of circus and I like it because you can just tell by the expression on her face she's going through something she has seen a lot of things or she could just be very tired from a hard day's work but either way doesn't look like she's ready for a party right now. Here's an oil painting that might be one of the most interesting in this whole collection. And it is called Family Bath House. And it depicts one of the world's most unique bathing traditions, the Russian steam sauna. And she looks like she's dressing the child, getting ready to go. He has not quite had enough, and you can see he's holding some birch leaves there, some twigs, which he will proceed to thrash his body with throughout the process of the sauna, and that is believed in ancient Russian folklore to have very healing properties. And if you look into it, you'll find that the healing properties of the venic, as it's called, during this tradition called the bania, is confirmed by science. Well, you guys, this has been another successful adventure here today on Tommy Travels. We've been here at the Museum of Russian Art, checking out beautiful pieces like this one behind me. And if you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. And thank you guys so much for the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side.